Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you. And we are going to jump backwards just a tad um, because um, we're not quite finished with sketching yet. So we're going to jump back to uh, Unit 2 and tackle this last uh, type of sketch or drawing that you need to know about. So we went over um, isometric perspective and oblique and now we're going to look at multi-view sketching because that's mostly what we use in industry to represent an object. So multi-view sketching um, is a way to represent at least, well, some some objects can get, you can get away with one view, some you can get away with two views, but what we're going to concentrate on in this class is creating a top, a front, and a right side view. So don't, I, I was just showing you that drawing, but you go to the resources tab, that's where your assignment is. It's right here. And I'll explain that in a minute. But let's go through this so that you understand exactly what we're talking about. And it's called multi-view because there's more than one view. And so far, we've been looking at pictorials, uh, which are, you know, three-dimensional representations on two-dimensional surfaces. But um, now what we're going to do is look at what we call multi-view sketching. So, a multi-view drawing shows two or more two-dimensional views. Two or more two-dimensional views. Once in a while, you can get away with one. What these drawings are used for is to completely describe an object so that a manufacturer knows exactly how to build it. Okay? This is an example. This is the chair that we looked at before. This was the isometric view of the chair. Now, this is a multi-view sketch. This is the top. This is what you see if you were looking straight down on top of that chair. Straight down at a 90 degree angle with your line of sight. This is your line of sight. Okay, if you're looking at the front, straight at the front with your line of sight 90 degree angles to the front side this is what you would see if you're looking from the right side this is what you'd see and from the left side this is this is what you would see now we could have added a bottom view and a back view um, but not for this example this is one of the objects that you drew or are drawing. Um, this is the isometric view. The isometric view goes in the upper right quadrant. If we divide this into four sections, the isometric view goes up here. And there are no dimensions on the isometric view in a multi-view drawing. The top view and the front view and the right side view are where all the dimensions are placed. And we will learn how to correctly dimension a drawing a little bit later. I just want you to be able to generate them right now. Now, um, it's, it's hard because I don't have an object in front of me to show you, but you have to just just imagine. This is your imagination. Okay, this is your top view. This is what you would see if you were looking straight down on top of this object. You would see this rectangle right here. Wait, do you want us to draw this? No, I just want you to listen. Okay. <laughs> if you were to look straight down on top, you would see this rectangle. You would see this rectangle and you would see this rectangle, which is right over here. This is a top view. If you're looking straight down, these edges are on top of each other. So you don't see this face right here. And then you also see 
this U shape right here from the top and once again these edges are aligned so you don't see this face so if you're looking straight down from the top this is what you see keep in mind and this is very important that this is the left side this is the left side that's why it's drawn like this this is the left side okay now if you're looking straight at the or not straight but if you're looking at the front view the front view the only thing that you see is this L shape everything else is behind it you don't see anything else except this L shape when you're looking at this perpendicular your line of sight is perpendicular to this face now these lines right here you should recognize as hidden lines those hidden lines indicate that there is geometry behind this that you can't see so this little cutout right here is represented by this hidden line so I know oh there's there's a cutout right there behind it and the same here so this is the front view top view front view and then finally the right side view is what you see when you look directly at a your line of sight at a 90 degree angle to the right side view you're going to see this face right here and you will see these two little squares these two little feet and then the mid middle part so you've got this small cutout right here which if you're looking 90 degrees to the right side view you would see these two front squares or rectangles or whatever they are that rectangle in the middle in this U shape the last thing I want to point out um, which is also extremely important is that these views are lined up so and, and I'm, I'm gonna go over this uh, there's more to come but just to give you a little introduction the top view displays width and depth the front view displays width and height the right side view displays height and depth so this height must be the same as this height so they're lined up this width must be the same as this width so they're lined up so this is in words what i just said okay you find width side to side which means left to right height is from top to bottom depth is from front to back okay you can go back and review this now this is just a little visual showing you if I were to look straight down on this object I would see these this would this I would see this rectangle and this would appear as a rectangle it would not appear slanted when you look straight straight um, 90 degrees from the top that top view would just be two rectangles the front view I'm sorry I didn't mean to go that fast maybe I can go back this is just showing you the object rotating here's our front view that's where you see the true size and shape of that slanted uh, part of this object so this is our front view that's what we would see from the front if I was looking directly 90 degrees to this front and then the right side I would see this uh, square right here and I would also see this rectangle but it would appear foreshortened we would not see the true size and shape in the right side view so this is your right side view your front view and your top view and notice these are all two-dimensional Two dimensional these are lined up the heights are lined up and the widths are lined up we are typically going to be using top front and right side views um, 
In your isometric view, the height appears between the top and the bottom, the width appears between the left side and the right side, and the depth appears between the front and the back. And this is also illustrating how these views are aligned. Now, in a minute, you're going to see how the depths are aligned. This is depth right here, and this is depth right here. And the way those are lined up is if you were to extend the boundary of the depth on the top view, and you were to extend the boundary of the depth on the right side view, those lines would intersect at a 45 degree angle. All right? That's how the depth is related in the top view and the right side view. Um, sorry. Now, we also call this orthographic projection. I have been using the term um, a 90 degrees to the line of sight. Ortho means 90. So what we're, when we say orthographic projection, um, it's used to describe a way to create multi-view drawings. I, I, I think it's easier um, to think of it as a way to view them. So let's just look at how it works. Here's the same old object, object we were looking at. What you do is you imagine it's in a glass box. It's a glass box. This object is inside the glass box. And the way we generate the top, front, and right side view is we project from the solid onto the top surface, onto the front surface, onto the right side surface using points and projection lines. So let me just show you. It's too many words. It's better if you just look. So here is our eye. We're looking at this front at a 90 degree angle to the projection plane. This is the plane this front side. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, project these points on to that plane. Project them onto that plane. There's our points projected onto the glass plane. And then we're going to connect those edges and this is our front view. And we've just generated that front view by projecting onto this glass box. Okay? That's, that's how it works. This is an example. Here's the isometric view. This is an example of all six views. So here's the top view. That's what you would see if you were looking straight down on this little block uh, object. Here's the front view. You would see this rectangle, this rectangle, and this rectangle. And then from the right side, you would see this rectangle, this rectangle, and this wrangle, rectangle. And they have been shaded uh, so that you can see the top has no shading at all. These three squares right here compose the top. This is the left side. Remember, this is the left side. So the left side is two blocks. One block, two blocks. So that's the top, front, and right side, and they've also included the left, the back, and the bottom. But we're going to just concentrate on the top, the front, and the right side view. Now, I'm going to stop there and show you your assignment, because um, that's all you need for those of you who are ready to start this. Um, it's very easy. Uh, come here. You will need orthographic graph paper to complete this assignment. I have completely simplified this assignment. Very easy. The first thing you're going to do is just a little bit of practice. This is an isometric view right here. This is the top view, the front view, and the right side view. And what you're going to do is match the letter to the top front, to, to where that letter appears in the top view, the front view, and the right side view. 
So this is A right here. Okay. From the top view, that corresponds to this face, which is 9. There's 9 right there. Okay. Where does A appear in the front view? Well, it's on the top here. We don't see the face, we just see the edge. So that's number 3. Then on the right side, here's A. Well, where does that appear on the right side? Well, that's this edge right here. So that's 21. So you're going to fill that out. And then the next thing you're going to do is create a top, front, and right side view of this drawing, this drawing, and this drawing. So you're going to have to get some orthographic paper. And um, you should have some because we've used it before. Now, to help you with that, I have created on your home page a video, multi-view drawing example number one. This video goes step by step, drawing the top, front, and right side view of part of that assignment. So, um, do you want me to show it now or do you want to just watch it on your own? I guess you can watch it on your own. Well, uh, if that's the consensus, it's fine with me. Um, it, but it is it 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 shows you how to line up your views, how to count your spaces, and um, how to create your top, front, and right side views. So uh, if you want to watch it on your own, that's fine. Um, like I said, I have several people who have completed everything, so I I, I wanted to move on. But um, those of you who haven't done the the uh, on shape stuff yet. Uh, need to get at it. So I'm finished. I'm going to stop.